Good evening, folks. What you're about to watch now is Osvaldo Franco, a ufologist from New York. Now, as a boy, he witnessed the Hudson Valley sightings firsthand. This is his experience. I interviewed him two months ago about To The Stars Academy of Arts and Science, and he briefly went through this experience. I said to Osvaldo, I says, after the show, I said, can you send me your experience so I can put this out to my subscribers for them to enjoy? What I'll do for you guys is I'll put some visuals in this. If you can't use your own imagination, it kind of helps. I know you can use your own imagination though. However, make sure you put some comments below. Maybe if you want to ask extra questions to Osvaldo Franco, I'm sure he will be in the comments section. And get this video shared out, get it thumbed up. I want to know what you think of Osvaldo's experience from the Hudson Valley sightings. There it is, New York City. This is where I was born and raised on the Upper West Side. And this is where my story begins uh, and the subject. My mother was born with rickets, so getting around was always an issue. And uh, we live on the Upper West Side. We lived on the Upper West Side. Mom still does. And uh, we had these two buildings that are together uh, as one building. And uh, my mom was born with rickets, which is a bone disability. And uh, getting around was always an issue. So uh, we live in this building and it has a lot of steps. So instead of going down four flights of steps and walking up into the four flights of steps in our building next door, uh, we would always cross over with the roof with a neighbor of ours upstairs, walk up one flight from over there, walk across and then enter into the other building through there. We would do this about once a month and it was very very normal for us to do this and until one day something happened. So after the tenants meeting my mother and I and our neighbor came out from here and we just like we did every once a month every month and uh, we started walking and my mother and her friend were speaking in Spanish and I'm not fluent in Spanish though I am Latino and black uh, and we were walking and you see there's a wall right here now this isn't that big of a deal right now but when you're seven years old like this was an obstacle for me and it was always like a thing where I always have to hoist myself over the wall I remember because this was really particularly because as I was walking across the wall right about here started hearing this really intense pulsing sound. This whoom, 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 whoom sound. And it got deeper and louder. And I remember walking with my mom and her friend. I'm holding my mom's hand. And I remember right about here, I'm thinking to myself, what is that noise? And then, just as I'm thinking that, my mom's friend says in English, what's that noise? And my mother says, I don't know. And they start looking right and they start looking left. And I'm a little boy, so I don't know any better. I just followed the sound and I looked up. And right above us was this giant circle of lights, like basically eight to 10 half domes. This unusual light 
this really odd light and the thing would the lights would get bright and they were in a circle and they were embedded on this big something I don't know what and basically these things were pulsing away and every time they would uh, emit the sound that's womb sound this weird sound uh, the lights would get brighter and dimmer and brighter and dimmer and brighter and dimmer and we were there for maybe five minutes or so and just looking at this thing just pulse away and then just as easily as it just showed up out of nowhere it just was like boom 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 and then boom and then the lights went out and it's a bit cloudy so you can't see but uh, we usually have pretty good viewing over here for like living in the city and well basically then the thing was just gone and basically all we saw was empty sky and some stars now I remember going downstairs and my father had just gotten home this is just before he uh, ran off and uh, I was very excited I was extremely excited and I remember running down to him and telling him, oh my god, we saw this thing, we were talking to him, and he was like, oh, well, you just saw a satellite, which makes no sense, because, as you know, you, yeah, you can't hear sound from space, and satellites just aren't that big, so that's not the situation, that wasn't what it was at all. Uh, and basically what happened was, is I... Just because was, I, that later that evening, like I said, when we had gone downstairs around maybe ten o'clock around the eleven o'clock news, it started showing up that people were talking about all these massive UFO sightings that were happening in and around the Hudson Valley area. Now, people think that the Hudson Valley sightings only happened in the suburbs. They didn't. In fact, in the distance is the Hudson Valley. In fact. Those lights beyond those trees, that's New Jersey. And that river is the Hudson River. Now, as I said before, I was astonished. And I saw these things. And I had never heard of what a UFO was before. And the thing is, I was space mad. I was always into space. I was always into uh, science and uh, related things in regards to that. But... I had never heard of UFOs. And then I remembered, like, two things happened. One, about two days later, the local Fox affiliate, before it was a Fox affiliate, uh, before Fox existed, uh, or eventually it would be the Fox affiliate, uh, broadcast a documentary called UFOs Are Real. It's an old Rod Serling UFO documentary, which is fantastic. You can probably find it on YouTube if you look up the name. Uh, I remember it was the first time I'd ever seen Stanton Friedman, who I would eventually come to meet many times over the course of my life. Um, and I also remembered seeing a follow-up news report later that day about how these UFO sightings were just super light airplanes. And I remember being a little boy and I was so angry. I was so mad because I had seen this documentary where they said they were lying about the existence of aliens and I was amazed but then literally within days I had seen and I'd caught them in this lie and I remember being very very upset and you know children don't like being called liars especially when they're telling the truth um, and I was very upset and well there was a bit of a surprise. It turns out my mom was into UFOs. And my mother had never said anything. Uh, she didn't want me involved in those things. She thought when I was older, I would, you know, perhaps ask some questions if I was into it. But um, fate had other plans in store, and, you know, uh, for us. And, uh, my mother went and she took me to the closet in her room and there were several stacks of UFO books. And I started reading those books. I started devouring those books. And it turns out my mother would go to conventions, like the whole Life Expo and things that 
we have on the Upper West Side, and uh, I started going to those. And uh, basically, that was the very, very beginning of my entry into ufology. Um, I've been doing this my whole life, without exception or exaggeration or hyperbole of any sort. Uh, and right now, I'm here telling you this story all these years and years later today. Well, and quite honestly, to, I'm, to tell you the truth, it wasn't the last time this would happen. And honestly, it's something that's never really stopped.